Hello and welcome to this video on determining the percentage change. Now the key to this method is twofold. You first find what proportion the change is of the original amount and then you convert it to a percentage. So let's just say that I had the value of 60 and that changed to 90. Now what was the change? Well clearly 60 is going up by 30 to 90. Now what was that change of 30 as a proportion of the original amount. Now 30 is half of the original amount. So it's increasing by half to get from 60 to 90. So we've done part one, what proportion is it? Half. And then we convert that proportion to a percentage. Now half is 50%. So that change we can see is 50%. So we show the calculation for that. We're doing the change of 30 as a proportion of the original. So we can see 30 over 60, that's just half. And then how do we convert it to a percentage? Well, we times that by 100. That's how we convert from a fraction to a percentage. And that gives us the percentage change. So 30 over 60 is half, and half times 100 is 50. So it's a 50%, and then I would usually say, well, it's an increase or decrease. So it's a 50% increase. Now we can use this principle to get a formula, but I prefer to remember the actual principle rather than remember the formula. But the percentage change in general is the actual change divided by the original value because we're getting the change as a proportion of the original value, as I set up here. And then to convert to a percentage, we know we times by 100. So that is the formula that we need to use. Let's use it to solve these other problems. We want to determine the percentage change from 80 to 100. So the percentage change is just going to be what the actual change was. Well, the change from 80 to 100 is 20. And we do that as a fraction of the original amount, not the new amount. So it's 20 over 80. And we times by 100 to convert to a percentage. So 20 over 80, we know that's a quarter. And a quarter times 100 is 25. So it's a 25% increase. That one we can do in our head because we know that 20 is a quarter of 80 and a quarter is 25%. What about B? The percentage change from 60 to 45. Well, the percentage change is the actual change. We can see it's going down by 15. So it's 15 as a fraction of the original amount of 60 and we times by 100. 15 over 60 is a quarter again, a quarter times 100 is 25, so it's a 25% decrease this time. What about C? 85 pounds to 63 pounds. This one we might need a calculator for. The percentage change is the actual change. Well, we just do 85 minus 63 to get the difference, so it's 22. And we do that as a fraction of the original amount of 85 and times by 100. So if I do that on a calculator, 22 divided by 85 times by 100, press the SD key. Oh, it's very similar. It's 25.9% to three significant figures. And finally, we've got D. We're going from £11.20 to £15.63. So the percentage change is equal to the difference and we can see it's going up by four pounds and 43 pence, so 4.43, divide it by the original amount, which is 11.20 times by 100, and that gets us 39.6% increase. So we should stay where it's an increase or a decrease.